Hey, what's going on YouTube? This Southern Knights, back at you with another video. And before you watch this video all the way through, like, share, subscribe to the channel. With that said, I want to talk about this young lady that got killed in the furniture store. She pretty much got stabbed to death. And it was, appeared to be a homeless guy. At least he appeared to be homeless. But a lot of people saying he didn't look homeless, but you can be clean and still be without a home. So basically this guy, they had him on surveillance cameras walking up the alley. And I'll put the links in the description box so y'all can check the story out. But nobody say, nobody don't know the motive, the reason why he went into the furniture store and stabbed a lady, but he came in Seemed like it was a hit to me. I, I'm just going to be honest with you. I mean, unless, it, it, you know, he it was two things. Either this dude know this woman or either he had some kind of mental issues that was off his medication and felt like doing something that day. That could happen because, like I said, it's a lot of mentally challenged people that's in these inner city that's mentally ill and it goes unchecked. So that could be the case, but it, it still don't add up. Nobody don't know the motive. Nobody don't know why this woman, and this woman look like she don't have no connection to the street like out there. It looked like she pretty much do her thing, go to school, but that could be deceiving also. She probably couldn't couldn't know the guy. But nobody don't know why this happened. But apparently the guy still on the run. They still looking for him. It was another lady that came in the furniture store and found her laying on the floor and she was pronounced dead at the scene. So yeah. It's still going on, y'all. The crime in LA is still happening. Even though it's not talked about and promoted like that, it's still going on because after the holiday, that's when pretty much everybody promote all of the crimes, but now they are going back to being isolated incidents, which is all tied up to the same crime that's been happening out there. And it was a young boy and how I know that, it was a young boy that said on the video, and y'all gonna see it, he was like, why can this area be like it used to be? Meaning that the area changed. So, and this is a young kid, so that means that he's old enough to know that this place just recently changed and didn't used to be like that. It ain't no 10 to 20 year scratch because the boy seemed like he was like, um, probably like 12 or something like that. I give him 13 at the most, but yeah, he was like, well, why do things, things need to go back to where it used to be? So obviously the neighborhood is done to got a uptick of crime. The neighborhood is pretty much not the same neighborhood that they used to knowing when they have their shops or whatever down there or businesses. So this is what's really going on in LA. You even, like I said, you even had gang members coming out and saying that this is not unusual. So it's a different element there in Los Angeles for a random guy to come in a furniture store, stab a lady that he don't know, and go out into the night, <laughs> that, that's unusual. That, that, that's, that's unusual. But this was plenty of cases, and this right here just add on to the other cases that been going on out there also, because it's been a lot of this going on. A lot of it, a lot of it I haven't reported on. A lot of it I haven't seen because, I mean, I just couldn't get to them in time. So, yeah, but this particular story, I had to do this one for the simple fact that this is the situations that I've been talking about on my videos to basically 
watch and be careful of your surroundings because you don't know anybody motives or objectives. This guy just randomly came up and just end this lady life just like that. You know, so this is why when I go out and anybody go out, you should be aware of your surroundings and the gun laws in that particular state doesn't help at all too because this is what you need also, <laughs> the right to bear arms. And for a place to have an uptick in crime like that, the gun laws is not on their side. You see what I'm saying? It just, it just ain't. But um, my condolences go out to her family and I just thought I'll put this video out there to let y'all know that this is a different America. Everybody have their agendas. You don't know what people's motives is. Like I said, me looking at the video and judging it based on my view of it, it kind of looked like a hit or retaliation or somebody paid this man to go and do that. <laughs> that's, that's what it looked like. And if the story come out, if another story come out and basically said, then I will report it on it. But it, that's what it looked like. It looked like this guy was up for hire. That's, that's what it looked like. So, yeah. It could be a crime of passion boyfriend that got a little you know just speculate i'm not you know the case still going they still looking for so i don't want to overstand and say too much you see what i'm saying so even though i don't have no it's way across the you know land but you know just for the family sake i don't want to speculate too much but this is what it looks like i'm just being honest because if they don't have no type of connection whatsoever, then you got to ask yourself who were this woman dating at the time and did did she break up with somebody? Did was she was together with somebody? Was it a, a friend of hers that got on bad terms? This is the stuff that they should be looking into. Because, like I said, it 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 um, it's look it looked like a hit. It it, it just do. It, it it looked like a hit. But I'm gonna leave it right there. Y'all just go look at the story. Like I told y'all, be careful out there for those who subscribe to my channel. If y'all in the Los Angeles, California area, just be careful out there. Just watch what you're doing. Keep your head on the swivel because this is a new and approved, I ain't gonna say an approved America, but this is a new America. And the crime in these various cities is getting horrific by the day. With that said, I'm Southern Knights. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.